a time before time, God breathed life into the universe, and the light gave birth to angels, and the earth gave birth to man, and the fire gave birth to the jinn, creatures condemned to dwell in the void between the worlds. One who wakes a jinn shall be given three wishes. Upon the granting of the third, the unholy legions of the jinn shall be freed upon the earth. Fear one thing only in all that is. Fear the jinn. Make your second wish. Astonish me, jinn. Show me wonders. As you wish. <laughs> Is all this creature needs. Three wishes granted to the one who woke him lets him open the gateway between the worlds. New wonders, majesty. New splendors. And new and terrible masters. Yes. you're here in person, Mr. Beaumont. Paperwork's completely in order. I've waited 10 years for this piece. Right, Antiquarian sculpture, eight foot tall, a statue of the pre-Islamic god, Ahura Mazda. Under Islam, these gods were outlawed. It's a miracle this one was ever made. Jesus Christ! What the hell is he doing? God damn it! Does the word dumbass mean anything to you? Watch that! 
crate that's very expensive stuff! I'm yours! I Maybe. I've got a pawn shop down in the garment district, Fifth and Thule, the armpit of the universe. Anyway, this came in this morning. I had a hunch about it, gave the guy a good price, and I'd like it appraised. Well, I think you made a smart move. Nick? Shannon? I think we have something Alex should take a look at. Hello, Betty. Wow, this is a... This... This... <laughs> <laughs> What's its provenance? What? History. Where did it come from? Oh, I bought it from a guy who said he got it from his grandmother. That's all I know. Heard that one before. Tell you what, I want to have my best appraiser take a look at this. Shannon here is going to fill out a receipt for you. And thank you for uh, choosing Regal Auctioneer. Sure. Guess that's it. Guess it is. Nice game. Oh! How is, um, Rick? Uh, I don't right? know. I haven't spoken to him. It's over. What's it been now? Six and a half weeks? Seven. What? Are you counting? Well, I thought maybe we, uh... What? I thought maybe we could go out. We go out all the time. Yes, we go out uh -huh. all the time, but we don't oh, go out. Josh, There's a difference. It's... You are my best friend. Do you know how hard a friend is to find? I don't want to... I don't want to mess that up. Dates are a dime a dozen. Oh, come on, Alex. It is so old. It's a date. Wait, you know what it is? I'm just... I'm just worried about losing what little I've got left now. Including you. How about dinner and a movie? How about hot dogs and a ball game? Plain and safe, huh? I'm going out on a limb here. I'm casting a spell on you here, Alex. Maybe it'll work. Hey. I'll see you later. I'll be at the lab. Hey, Alex. Think about what I said. Fire opal this size, it, it's magnificent. How magnificent? Excellent translucence. Mm -hmm. No other color traces. Mm -hmm. It's unique. Oh, that's a good word. Oh, I love that word. Unique. Should fetch uh, quite a price, yeah? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm salivating. Mm. Did you get me a report ASAP? Yes. Mm. Nick, mm. leave. Mm. 
Yes. What's this? I didn't hear you come in. You scared me. I. What's know, the What's the verdict? I think there may be something wrong with it. I, oh, does it affect the value? I have to talk to a friend of mine. We're going to have to run some more tests. Test? Like what? A physical? Something inside of it? Right. Well, I don't know. I'm no gemologist. I could run some spectral analysis, infrared, get some readings. That'd be great. Can you do it now? Oh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. I got, I got about two hours worth of Professor Lieber's bullshit to take care of first. I'll get to it as soon as I can. Come on, you want to stay? No, I can't. I've got to put my girls through their paces. Thanks. Yeah. This is really important, so call me later, okay? You're the best, Josh. I owe ya. Yeah. Well, how about that dinner, then? Come on, come on! Hey, Judy, Kara! Time out. You. That was very good. It was very good. Do you know what you missed? Mm-mm. You didn't have stillness. All of you can put the ball in the hoop as long as you take your time, take a breath, get your aim, right? But you don't always have that time in a game. Somebody's always going to be trying to take the ball away from you, and that's when you need stillness. Not in your body, in your mind. When you get a chance to make a shot, you've got to forget about everything else. Time doesn't exist. The other players do not exist. It is you and the basket. You see it. You find it. Shoot the ball. Laser targeting flow analysis. Well, this is the easiest day you've ever gotten, Aikman. Yeah. 
make the pain terrible. Oh, God. I can help you with that. I can ease your suffering. All you have to do is ask. Tell me you want the pain to cease. Yes. As you wish. I'm Detective Nathan, and you are? Alex Ambers. Alex Ambers, right? Good. Okay, I take it you knew the, um, um, Josh. He was my best friend. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, look, you, you want to have a seat? No, I want to know what happened. Well, it looks like an accident. Equipment malfunction, maybe. You have any idea what he was working on? He was analyzing a gemstone. Oh, it's for me. Excuse me, lady. Uh, help out an old older boy. If you ain't got no change, a dollar will do it. Uh, hell, I'll even take five. Uh, I'll wait till you get back. Thank you. Look, how many times I gotta tell you? Hey, you left customers in there. That's not a good way to run a yeah, business. Don't tell me how to run my business. You're a fucking bum. Well, you don't tell me how to run my life. You're a fucking prick. I'll talk to anybody I want to. You don't own this fucking sidewalk. You want to know something? I do own this fucking sidewalk. You want to know why? Because I pay fucking taxes. Fuck you. No, fuck you! I hope you die, you sack of shit. I hope you die, and I hope you float down the gutter so I can fucking piss on you. Bald-headed baboon. Uh. Complected after birth of a Chinese gangbanger. Educated idiot! I own the sidewalk. I pay taxes. I got your taxes swinging. I'll tell you what you can do with your taxes. And I hope they poke a hole in your kidneys when they're heading up towards your throat. I hope you rot in hell. And that goes for you. Who is that? A friend, perhaps. Tell me. Do you really mean those curses you hurl so freely? Damn right I did. What would you do to have them come true? Cigarette and a handshake's about all I got right now, pal. Not quite. You have a soul. That 
that trade for uh, a shower and a jug of jack. Then the death of your enemies would consider a bargain. <laughs> you really are fucked up, you know that? <laughs> but I, I do like the way you think. Indulge me then. What would you have happen? Give it some thought. Enjoy it. Hey, should only get cancer. Should only get cancer and die. As you wish. Welfare checks, food stamps, uh -huh. and another thing I... Hmm? Hey, buddy, you okay? Uh you okay? I don't know. Look, look. Hey, let, let her, let her, let her, let her go. Was it worth it? Something loose in their city. Something which feeds on wishes. But tell them quickly, while you still have a soul. Not enjoying it. Put it out. Hey, Alex. I'm really sorry about Josh. I know how close you guys were. Yeah. No, we weren't as close as he wanted, and now it's just too. Alex, listen to me. What happened to Josh is not your fault. I think it is. What? Very. <sighs> there was something weird in the opal. I think that was what exploded. I think what I gave Josh is what killed him. Do you have any idea how crazy that sounds? <laughs> yes. I know exactly how crazy it sounds. That's the problem. Do you, um, do you want me to call Dr. Monteglio again? No. I'm fine. I'm just upset. You are not just upset. You're imagining things just like the last time. This is nothing like the last time, Shannon. Why don't you go to bed? I don't want you to worry. Can you can the big sister act for just one night? The fire was years ago. You got me out, okay? I got you out. I didn't get mom out. I didn't get dad out. Not didn't. Couldn't. Could not. Not your fault. Just like Josh is not your fault, Alex. You really got to stop blaming yourself or the whole fucking thing is going to start again. The therapy, the nightmares, everything. No, it isn't. It's nothing like last time. But something's going on. Something bad. I'm gonna find out what it is.
Ready to play, Alex? I can smell your fear. I'm looking for a dog worker named Ed Johnson. Yes, I'm over there. Back out? Yes. Mr. Edgenson? Sweetheart, you can call me anything you like. Please, I don't have time for your games. Well, that's a damn shame. Could be fun. Okay, let's talk about the opal. The jewel? I don't know what you're talking about. That's odd. Your friend Clegg knew exactly what I was talking about. I don't know him either. I think you do. Middle-aged guy, runs a pawn shop, ratted you out at the first sniff of a lawsuit. All right, what's the deal? You a cop? No, and we don't ever have to involve them if you tell me where you got it. Ah, oh, that statue, after the accident. You must have seen it on the news. Killed a guy. The Beaumont piece? How the hell should I know? There was some guy here who bought it, yeah. Hey, Blake gave me a couple hundred. Did I get fucked? Royally. Alexandra, how nice to see you again. Mr. Beaumont, I'm so sorry about what happened. Yes, irreplaceable, one of a kind. We are talking about Ed Finney, your assistant, right? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Well, if you're not too broken up about him, I'd like to ask you a few questions about the sculpture. Anything you wish. Well, the newspapers seem more concerned with the details of the accident, the crane operator and the such. The drunken swine. And less concerned about the details of the statue itself. Was it bejeweled? No, no, undecorated. A likeness of a Hora Mazda, one of the few to have been made after the Islamic conversion. Mm-hmm. Tell you what, Hera. Let me show you something. You'll be interested in this, I think. Any new treasures that the auction house has? Ah! Jeez! <laughs> Asshole! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Yes, what exactly is Ahura Mazda? It's the objects I collect, Alex. Not the theologies they represent. But for what it's worth, he was the monotheistic deity of the Zoroastrian religion. So he was a god of good, then? Well, certainly. Interestingly, though, legend has it that uh, the opposing force, if you will, was actually his own shadow. So, in a way, 
he himself was the source of evil. There's someone at the university I'd like to put you on to. A very smart woman. She's done some catalog descriptions for me in the past, but uh, she could be of some help, uh, provided you catch her in a, in a good mood. You bastard! Oh, my eyes! Ah! 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 Fainted. Can I? Can I get you a drink or something? <clears throat> Some water? No. <sighs> no, I'm fine. Guess I'm just under a lot of stress. But I'm fine, honestly. Honestly. Mm. I. I hope you'll be well enough to attend my party. The one that was to celebrate my. Uh, my acquisition. Your, uh, your boss, Mr. Merritt, received the invitations. You and your charming sister should be most welcome. Well, thank you. I'd like to. But I think I may be busy. Hmm. Little more. How's it? Professor Durrell. Little more. Hold on. Uh, back two feet. Good, good. That's good. I told the dean's office that the paperwork would be there tomorrow. I'm busy. And how about this? Okay. Good. I think you're mistaking me for someone else. I'm Alex. Raymond Beaumont must have called you about me. Oh, yeah. What an insufferable prick that man is. Still, it's not your problem. Unless, of course, you're stupid enough to be working for him. No. Or sleeping with him? <laughs> no. Oh, good. Well. That establishes your discerning good taste. A little, uh, no, 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 no. That's not gonna work. That's right. Upstage. Uh-huh, what can I do for you? Absolutely nothing at all until I can get your full attention. I like you. I'm just interfering here anyway. This is a, uh, a co-production. Folklore department, that's me. Drama department, that's not me. As soon as Professor Benson gets here, I'm gonna be run off, come on. The Stone of the Secret Fire was first written about in Persia around 900 years ago. Mm -hmm. A court sorcerer is said to have imprisoned an evil spirit within it. An evil spirit? Yes. A creature from the spaces between the worlds. A djinn. A djinn? A genie? Now, hold on a minute. Forget what our culture is made of the djinn. Forget Barbara Eden. Forget Robin Williams. To the peoples of ancient Arabia, a djinn was neither cute nor funny. It was something else entirely. It was the face of fear itself. How's it look? You tell me. <sighs> wow. I'm glad you approve. Do you want to try something else? A different style, maybe? Tighter? Oh, no. Don't like feeling confined. Had enough of that. OK, then. Follow me. Pleasure. Will this be cash or charge, Mr. Demerst. Nathaniel Demerst. Call me Nathaniel. Okay, Nathaniel. Cash or charge. Which would you prefer? <laughs> I don't know. Cash? Done. Oh. This is my first day in your world, Ariella. I am pleased to see beauty as a constant. Does it bother you, knowing that your beauty will fade, that your looking glass will day by day tell you a long and unhappy story? 
Well, I, I mean, that's life, right? It happens to all of us, like it or not. It doesn't have to, Ariana. Ask. Ask and see what happens. Ask for an end to change, an end to decay. Say, I wish to be beautiful forever. I, I wish to be beautiful forever. Pleasure doing business with you. some other time no oh I'm, uh, I'm oh god I'm sorry I just wanted Professor Dola to check out my costume oh obviously it's scary enough go back to rehearsal thanks you all right yes okay the gin the word is both plural and singular, by the way, are a race created after the angels, but before mankind. Powerful, magical, evil. Evil. I, I, I thought that Janie's granted wishes. I, it's what the myths say. They're obliged to. But their true motivation is always usurping this world for themselves. I never heard that. What I heard was sweetened fables. Over the centuries, faith became fairy tales. We avoided our terror by taming it into fictions, inventing stories of magical lamps to rock our children to sleep. And the old stories are darker. Much darker. In the old writings, the djinn is everything that we have ever feared. An utterly inhuman race of beings that mean us harm. Older than our oldest history, more powerful than our worst imaginings, and driven by an ancient and endless malevolence. Detective Nathanson. Yeah. I was told downstairs you're in charge of the Aikman investigation. I was. Case is closed. At least as far as homicide is concerned. Unless you got something to tell me. Actually, I was hoping you had something to tell me. Oh, really? And what would that be? Nothing much. An address. A woman called Alexandra. What the hell makes you think I'd give you her address? What's your interest in this case, anyway? Why do you keep looking over there? See that guy? Guilty as sin. Walked on seven counts, walked each time, made a Teflon, makes me sick. You know what I'd like? I'd love to know. Just once I'd like it to be easy. I'd like to nail that prick dead to rights. Murder one, everybody's an eyewitness. stone of the secret fire created by a great Persian sorcerer to save his people from the jinn is as much a curse as a blessing because it is a doorway between the worlds and like all doors can be opened from either side. A jinn once freed can use the stone to bring forth his race to our reality and overwhelm humanity.
but the Jinn must first charge the stone by gathering the souls of humans who have had a single wish granted. He must then activate it by finding the human who woke him into this world and granting him three wishes. The sole limitation to the Jinn's power is that it may only be used in the service of wishes. Sorry, sir, we're closed. I'm trying to locate an employee. There's no one here, just the boss. Fine, I'll talk to the boss. Open the doors, please. It's appointments only after business hours, okay? You're becoming a bother, little man. Open the doors. Okay, pal, it's time for you to go. Get out of my way. I don't think so, asshole. Do you have any idea how frustrating it is to have unlimited power and only be able to use it when some worm asks you for something? No, I can't say that I do. Can't say I give a shit either. Ask me for something. Okay. I want you to leave. No. No. I have to get inside. Well, now you'd have to go through me. And that is something I would love to see. I could ask your help. I'm looking for Alexandra Amberson. Alex, she, she, she was off today. I asked you who you were. Someone she's expecting. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to give me her home address. <laughs> Wait a minute. If she knows you, how come you don't have her address? I said she's expecting me. I didn't say she knows me. Oh, well, in that case, um, Maybe you better email her, because I can't give you her address. You understand. Perfectly. Would you happen to know where she is right now? Yes, I would. Would you tell me? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> hey, hey, that's a very valuable piece. Really? Would you like it to be 100 times as valuable? <laughs> Would I like it to be a hundred times more valuable? Yes. Holy shit. Are you, what are you, David Copperfield or something? How'd you do that? Old family secret. Where is Alexandra? Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry, but I don't really feel, um, comfortable telling you. What would make you comfortable, Nick? Name it. Do. <laughs> What's my limit? Your imagination. Well, I'm not a <clears throat> greedy man. How about a million dollars? Done. Okay, let's just see. Oh, wait a minute. You've forgotten to fill in the beneficiary. Oh, silly. It's my son, Nick. <laughs> he owns a very prestigious auction house. There you go. Thanks for your business, Mrs. Merritt. Enjoy your flight. Hey! Hey, yourself. What the hell are you doing? Learning the rules of the game. I leave work early to get you back the car, and you're not even ready. Mm hmm? Basketball? Damn. I lost track of time. Okay, just, uh, just give me a second, okay?
everybody, let's take a five. Stillness, Ms. Amberson. That's how I did it. Stillness, just like you said. Oh, oh. Can I have your phone again? God, who is this woman anyway? It's a machine. Professor Durlett, this is Alex. Again, I really need to talk to you as soon as possible. Please call me back. Thank you. Excuse me, miss. Would you mind terribly if I borrowed your phone? I'd be happy to pay for the call. That's OK. Useful little items, aren't they? She's old. Hello. Miss Amberson. It's Detective Nathanson. Look, we need to talk. There was a guy here looking for you. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come in?
Stone is charged. It's charged with people's souls, fed with their fear. And the gym is after me. I need to know what the hell to do. Alexandra, this is the 20th century. Don't you think all that sounds a little unlikely? Would you like something to drink, by the way? No, uh, thank you. Well, I would. This is a nice cabinet, isn't it? Your boss would really like this. My boss? I, I never told you who I worked for. You didn't? Then how would I know? Maybe Beaumont mentioned it. Oh, yeah. He did. Let me explain. You are obviously looking for some piece of magic, some spell to get rid of this hypothetical gym that you're talking about, right? Yes. Well, they certainly existed. Are you cold? No, I'm fine. Would you like me to put the heat on? No, just please continue. All right. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Spells, sorcerers, Alexandra. You were born into an age of reason, an age of science. All the sorcerers are dead, and all the spells lost to time. But the djinn itself, the djinn, if it existed, would be all there was. Imagine that. The only magical thing in a rationalist world. A vulnerable world of disbelief where no reason would ever rescue you, nor science save you. Oh. <laughs> he would have a fine old time, wouldn't he? <laughs> this isn't a joke. No, it's not funny. Are you hungry? I'm not hungry, I'm not thirsty, I'm not... Why do you keep trying to do things for me? I'm sorry. I guess I'm just a little tense. I guess. But I'm fine. All right. Where were we? Oh, yes. No spells. No hope. There's no hope. No magic. I'll have to rely on myself. <laughs> Match wits with a creature older than time. Match wits with a prince of the dark dominions. Pit your tiny 20th century brain against one who walked the spaces between the worlds and trod the wings of angels beneath his conquering feet. Oh, Alexander. <laughs> You're a delight, really. You are. <laughs> I'm glad I can amuse you. Oh, I hurt your feelings. I'm sorry. Let me make it up to you. What can I do? I must be going now. Sit down. <gasps> Please, sit down. Where's Wendy? Bessie. I needed her face. You killed her? Actually, I can't kill anyone. Not unless they wish me to. Your research should have told you that. She didn't wish to be dead, you lying sack of shit! I showed her my true face. Her reaction wasn't very flattering. As a matter of fact, she got downright hysterical. <laughs> I merely asked her if she wished to be released from her fear. You're a dangerous person to know, Alexandra. Your scientist friend, your boss, the policeman, Wendy. By the by, where is that tasty little sister of yours today? If you harm Shannon, I'll kill you. Spare me, child. 
Behold my true face. Oh my god. Yes. The shit just hit the fan, didn't it? Let's get this over with, shall we? Make your wishes. Three wishes, Alexandra. Doesn't that intrigue you? Just a little. Anything you want. Anything? You ask for anything. I must grant it. A trip to the moon. A visit to Pharaoh's Egypt. What happened if I wished you dead? Why, how remarkably original, Alexandra. I'll tell you what. I'll give you one free wish. A sample. Get you into the spirit of the game. All right. I want you to destroy yourself. Blow your brains out. Right now. Very well. <gasps> that which is eternal cannot die. But if it's any consolation, sweet Alex, that hurt like hell. Now, make your three wishes. I always tell my girls to know their opponent. So, I think I will make a wish. Good. I wish to know what you are. What are you doing? Granting your wishes. shadowed mirror the hollowness at the heart of all your hopes alexandra i am despair You're not supposed to be here. I am bound by that which I bind. Contained by that which I contain. This isn't what I wanted. Well then, word your wishes more carefully. <laughs> The pain of loved ones can be. No. Stop me then. Wish yourself back. I wish I was in my apartment. Right now. Without you.
is in. We're so connected now. Wherever you go, there I'll be. Wherever you are, I will find you. Fuck you! Excuse me, uh, is your name on the list? You have got to help me. This guy is crazy. He's dangerous. He broke my window. He is trying to kill me. Excuse me, sir. Is Mr. Beaumont expecting you? I asked you a question, sir. Am I expected? Yes. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Mr. Beaumont. Well, that sounds good. But it doesn't sound like an invitation. I don't care what it sounds like. Step aside. Let me make this real simple for you. If your name isn't on the list, you don't get in. Yeah. I've dealt with your type before. Mister, you never even met my type before. I am going through that door. And you will not stop me. Is that perfectly clear, Dorman? Dorman? The name is Valentine. Johnny Valentine. You remember that when they asked, how you lost your eye? Forgive my brashness. My eagerness for the endgame has skewed my judgment. I'll make you a deal. I don't make deals. What else do you have to do? Tonight, I keep assholes out of parties. And what about tomorrow? Surely you're not telling me this is all you can do. Hmm. Nor all you ever have done. It certainly isn't all you've ever wished for. Tell me the truth. Don't you grow weary of this job day in and day out? Wouldn't you like to escape into a more exciting profession? What the fuck does that have to do with you? Everything. Take the chance, Johnny. Answer the question. Would you like to escape? Yeah. As you wish. Out of here, come on, we gotta go. Hell off of me. Shannon, we've got to leave now. Trust me. No, trust me. You obviously haven't seen Beaumont's new friend. You remember the guy from the basketball court? <laughs> Shannon, Shannon! And I was at Cindy's party, of course, the one where they served the divorce papers in the middle of the dinner. <laughs> People talked about it for a year. Really? Mm. I remember a certain potentate whose last party was talked about for centuries. What do you mean? It, it went down in history. Oh, yes. God, how I'd love to host a party like that. Shannon! As you wish. Ted. 
and you can see right through me.
No more doors. No more rooms. No more excuses. Make your wish. I will not wish. Really? Not even when I show you the latest addition to Beaumont's collection. The final flowering of his wish. What? A little masterpiece of my own. I call it Sister. Why have you forsaken me? Oh, God. Shannon! Rather a good likeness, don't you think? I especially relish the trapped animal look in the eyes. You vicious son of a bitch! Don't approve. All right, then. Fuck it! You know what I say. If you can't beat him, Burn them, baby. No! Get it! Remind you of something? Suggest you do it quickly, dear. Oh, God. I wish. Yes. I wish. Wish on, child. Stillness. I wish Mickey Torelli hadn't been drinking on the job two days ago. <laughs> I'm surprised you're here in person, Mr. Beaumont. Paperwork's completely in order. I've waited 10 years for this piece. Hey, Mickey, watch it! Look, what do you think that is? Coconuts? That's, that's pre-Islamic stuff you got in there. Now, slowly, thanks. OK, got it. Someone a very nice engagement gift. 
very least, a nice engagement gift. Yeah. Mm, it's got an interesting look. I'll tell Hi. you what, you're late. Sorry. I'll give you 2,000. So what are we doing tonight? We? Oh, what's the matter, Josh? Are you afraid of the complications? Um. You know what? I think this could help. Does that help? This is... Yeah. Yeah, where, uh, where are we going tonight? Dinner and a movie? With me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking more about, um, about hot dogs and a ball game. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you, are you all right? <laughs> Alex? Yeah.
Careful what you wish for.